I wrote the music for To Her Door about seven years before I wrote the words. I got the tune first on piano and recorded it on a, on a cassette, which is my main method of um, writing songs, getting ideas, just, just putting tunes onto, onto tape and then singing melodies over the top. So I, I didn't really have any particular words for it, but it's just a tune that I'd stored on one of many, many cassettes that, that I used to build up over the years. I was reading a lot of Raymond Carver, the American short story writer, and um, when I first discovered him, I, I sort of just devoured him in, in one go, sort of just gulped him down. I loved his writing, I loved the way that his stories seemed to end in a really open-ended way. Often his stories would end sort of just on the verge of something about to happen. Um, there was always things around the edges that uh, informed the story. It was a really good influence for a songwriter because um, his stories seemed to contain a lot of information and it was a short form, so which is sort of what I was, same sort of thing I was trying to do. I wanted to write short pop songs but still have them tell stories. Looking back, I, I can really see the influence of Raymond Carver on To Her Door. At the end of the song, we still don't know whether it's going to work out. It's sort of, so it was, the song sort of um, ends with a beginning and we don't know whether things are going to go well or not. The video for To Her Door was directed by Claudia Castle who did a couple of other clips for us around that time. Pretty simple video, mainly a performance clip with with uh, some actors referencing part of the story. For some reason, I'm in a singlet. I guess it must have been hot. I met my second wife, Karen Fairfax, who was acting in the clip as, as the wife in the song. And my son, Declan, is also playing uh, the child or one of the children. Peter Bull plays a distinctive keyboard line at the start of the song. Um, uh, Steve Connolly plays that guitar riff, which we still play to this day. Um, Michael Barclay on drums and harmonies, and John Schofield on bass guitar. The parts made up by those original players are still very, very much what we, we play today that was sort of just sort of, especially Steve Connolly's guitar parts are sort of like carved in stone. 